the hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see Daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me when Daddy folded me up. I like the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mummy? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds, looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet Come with on. strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Wee! And then one day, Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my Daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. Silly Daddy hadn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. It's only a toy spider. <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my Daddy. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were me. Busy. When I was little, my mommy and daddy had a very busy day. Me and Willie had a busy day too. I was busy doing my jigsaw. Mummy and Daddy were busy talking. Talk, talk, talk. Off we go. But my jigsaw, I said. Rush, rush, rush. We got into the car. Was 
Willie. Where's Willie? Daddy stopped the car. At least the brakes work, said Mummy. Mummy picked up Willie. Willie was just doing your jigsaw. Willie was trying to do the jigsaw. So was I. Daddy drove to the garage. See you later. Mummy rushed off. We went into a room with a window. We saw the car go up into the air. A man came to talk to Daddy. Why are you talking about it, Dad? Daddy's busy. In a minute, said Daddy. Talk, talk, talk. Whiz! The wheels came off the car. The wheels went back on the car. Whiz! Hooray! The wheels worked. Daddy drove us to the printers. Hi there. Hi there. I'm supposed to be meeting my wife here. Right. Talk, talk, talk. Printing for a presentation document. What are you talking about, Daddy? In a minute, said Daddy. Mummy came through the door. Oh, hi. Mummy. Hiya. Mummy! Daddy left to go to work. Bye. I need to get... Talk, talk, talk. ...size print scan to PDF and about... Mummy, what are you talking about? Yeah, Just I in could, a minute, Ted. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Do you want to do some drawing for me? Mummy gave me some drawing. Come on, here we go. One, two, three. Whee! Oh, sorry about that. That's OK. So... I drew a sun. Look, Mummy, a sun. Just in a minute, Tig. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Talk, talk, talk. I didn't like Mummy always busy. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when no one listens to you. It's not nice when no one looks at your pictures. But, Tig, Mummy and Daddy are having a busy day. You need to let them be busy. When Mummy and Daddy are busy, you need to be busy too. You've done one drawing, so why not do some more drawings? Why not make your very own jigsaw? Well, you've got one piece of your jigsaw, a sun. Here's another piece. Mm, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba. Mm -hmm. What's that, do you think? <laughs> a roof. For a house. There's one half of your jigsaw. All you've got to do now is finish off the other half. What are you going to put under the sun? Tig. Yes, Tig. A picture of you would look great there. Go for it, Tig. Get busy. Yes, I thought. I can be busy too. Oh, well done, Tig. You've been so busy. You've done a jigsaw. The printer man made another of my jigsaws for Daddy. So when the printer man saw Willy, he made a face. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like Mummy and Daddy being busy. I like being busy too. I love Willy. We've been together since we were me. The haircuts. When I was little, my hair grew long. Who's that? I liked my hair long. One day, my mummy took me for a ride on a bus with no roof. On the bus we saw lots of things. We saw a big crane. <gasps> oh wow, take a look, look. An aeroplane landed on the water. Some things I didn't see. I just saw my hair. That night Mummy brushed my hair. Oh my it was all tangly. You're going to have to get your hair trimmed soon. The next day, Mummy and Daddy took me to see a play. Mummy tied my hair in bunches. You won't be able to see the play, said Mummy. Willie came too. There was a funny lady. Hello, boys and girls. 
Hello, nursing! The funny lady had bunchies, just like mine. Do you like my bunchies? You do? You've got bunchies like mine, haven't you? What's your name? Tig. Tig. <gasps> That's a lovely name. Well, this little ditty is especially for you. One bunch, two bunch, kiss my cheeks, so one bunch. Funny lady sang a song all about my bunches. I'm a happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I skip and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I skip and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. Night, Mummy brushed my bunches away. Once you get a wee trim, you won't have all these tangles at the bottom here, will you? The next day, Mummy took me to the hairdresser. Who's next? Said the hairdresser. Me. You coming over? Have a seat. I jumped into the seat. The hairdresser picked up a big pair of scissors. Uh, no, I want my bunchies. I didn't like the scissors. I wanted my bunchies. Do you want to come over, Brendan? I didn't want my hair cut. Hey, Tig, those scissors might look a bit scary, but don't worry. Cutting hair doesn't hurt. Snip, snip, snippity snip. Look at Brendan. Brendan doesn't mind having his hair cut. He loves it. Snip, snip, snippity snip. And look at the hairdresser. He knows just how to use the scissors so they're safe. Tig, I know how you feel about your bunches. But having your hair cut doesn't mean you can't have bunches again. They might be a little smaller, that's all. But hey, Having your hair cut means no more hair in your eyes. Having your hair cut means less tangles. Having your hair cut makes you feel all shiny and new. Oh, I'm happy with my hair cut, my happy, happy hair cut. Go for it, Tig. Get your hair cut. You'll love it. Yes, I thought. I want to be all shiny and new. Nothing to worry about. I'll have my hair cut. Snap, snap, snap. No more hair in my eyes. Snap, snap, snap. No more tangles. I'm happy with my hair cut. My happy, happy hair cut. Are you happy with that? Yeah. That when the hairdresser saw yeah. Willie, he wasn't happy. What's that? That's only a toy side. Oh. I like having my hair cut. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were me. My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a tyrannosaurus. Rhinus, Rhinus, Rex. And a triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie really liked my Diplodocus too. I played with my dinosaurs a lot. Wow. At nursery school, I painted a big, big Diplodocus. I gave my Diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise liked dinosaurs too. Her favourite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. Roar! One day Mummy said, What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. OK, just bones. Just bones didn't Love sound very exciting, but I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. 
I love my granddad. Let's get up these big sticks. Big dinosaur jumps up. Let's go and save and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur. Hey, granddad. Wow. Oh, no. There was a dinosaur. There was a Diplodocus. It was real. It was big. It was bigger than me. It was too big. I was scared. What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Tig, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus sat on Grandad? Hey, Tig. Big, strange things are scary. But this big, strange Diplodocus dinosaur is just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones, only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones. There's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar! It was just old bones. When I showed Wooly to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Don't stomp away, I said. He's only my toy spider. I like Diplodocus. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Willy. We beat guesses to Willy. Rain. When I was little, Daddy took me in the car to play in the park. The car was very dirty. We'll have to take it to the car wash, car said Dad. Willie came too. In the car. That's a good tag and you get. I'd never been to a car wash before. There you go. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Daddy right, made sure all the windows were closed. Right, that's us. Daddy drove into a big box machine with giant brushes. Suddenly, the brushes came towards us. I don't want to go in. I don't like this, I said. I think the cars get this hair washed. Cheer up, Sig, said Dad. It's like the car's having a hair wash. One rubber dubber. Two rubber dubber. Three rubber dubber. Four rubber dubber. Daddy was right. It was like a big hair wash with your eyes open. The big brushes whirred and rubber dubbed the car. Five rubber dubber. Six rubber dubber. And swoosh! The machine washed the shampoo off. Here comes the big hair dryer. A giant hair dryer dried the car all over. Daddy drove the car out of the car wash. The car looked all shiny and new. Daddy was so pleased. On the way to the park, it started to rain. Oh no, it's raining. At the park, we splashed through a puddle. Daddy wasn't pleased. Oh no, look at my car. The car wasn't shiny. Daddy was grumpy. Daddy and me ran to a cafe out of the rain. We'll just uh, wait here till the rain stops, okay? But 
Daddy was grumpy. Daddy just sat. He didn't even get me a drink. I drew a picture. Daddy was making me grumpy too. Hey, Tig, no need to be grumpy too. Daddy's just fed up, that's all. Daddy had a nice clean car and now it's all dirty again. Things didn't go quite how he wanted them to go. It rained, dearie me. Daddy needs cheering up like he cheered you up in the car wash. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber. Daddy's fed up with the rain, so show Daddy how rain can be fun. Jumping puddles, whee! Twirling umbrellas, catching raindrops, and listening to the rubber dub dub sound of the rain on the roof. Go for it, Tig. Give Daddy a big smile. Yes, I thought. I'll cheer Daddy up. Wow. That is brilliant. Well done. Come on. Doesn't look as if the rain's going to stop. Come on, then. I'll show Daddy how to have fun in the rain. Oh, no. We jumped in puddles. We twirled our umbrellas. <laughs> we caught raindrops. Whoa, the rain. Come here. Quick, tag. We listened to the rubber dubba dubba of the rain on the roof. Oh, it's a puddle monster! When Daddy saw Willie in a puddle, puddle he said, Ah! Oh, my toy spider! It's only my toy oh, spider, I said. Whoa, did you hear it? Look! I like fun in the rain. I like to see my daddy happy. Your hand out like that. I love Willie. I love Willie and Willie loves me. We've been together since we were wee.